In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Canon Maxify MB2720 to your Wi-Fi network. Once you have connected your printer, you'll be able to see it with your computer or phone and you'll be able to print and scan using the Wi-Fi. So how is it done? Well, first of all, go on the screen over here, press the home button so we start at the same place and you're gonna simply swipe towards the right like this until on the top right corner you see LAN settings. Click on this, then select wireless LAN setup is the second option. From here you're gonna select standard setup, it's the second option. Wait. You're gonna get all the Wi-Fi networks that are currently around your printer. If you do not see your Wi-Fi network, try bringing the Wi-Fi router closer to your printer or your printer closer to your router. I don't see my network, so I'll click search again. I think this is something you can do before trying to bring anything closer. Okay, perfect, I see mine now, you see? Click on it, click in the middle of the screen, and now type your password. If your password has characters, that are capital letters, well, you can click here. If you have symbols or numbers, click on the lower left side to change the keyboard. Once the password has been entered, click OK on the lower right side. Click OK once more to confirm. Now we just have to wait. It will connect to your Wi-Fi and you'll get a confirmation message telling you that it has been successfully connected. Let's wait a few more seconds. Perfect, you see, connected to the wireless router. Press OK. And right now your printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. Now that your printer is connected, let me show you how to use it with your iPhone. And whatever I will tell you next will also apply to an Android smartphone. On your iPhone, you need to go on the App Store and download the Canon Print App. This one over here made by Canon. Once you downloaded the app, open. The main page of the app should look like this one. Press search. If you don't see the search button, you can click on add switch. That is right over here. Wait a few seconds. You'll get the green check mark. And now you can close this window by clicking the X button on the top right corner. Your printer has been added. You can see it on the top of the app. You can click on it. And from here, you're gonna have some different settings that you may or may not use. The most important one is the printer information. You're gonna get how much ink is remaining in the printer without you having to look on the small display that is on your printer. So you can do this from your desk. Now, if you want to print or if you want to scan, everything can be done from this app. If you want to print a document, press document. If you want to print a picture that is on your iPhone, click photo print. I'll print a document, so I'll click here. Then you have to select where is your document currently located. So is it in your documents, in your files of your iPhone? Is it in the photo camera roll? Or is it on a cloud service like Dropbox, iCloud, stuff like that? This is the document I want to print. So once you see it, press next. Here press no, and you're gonna have the settings of your print. Look at them, make sure they're okay with you. So the paper size, you know, the paper type. So do you print on glossy paper or plain paper, stuff like that. If you want to change any of these things that you see, press on uh, the top option there, and you'll be able to go through them and change them. By the way, here you see two-sided. If you want to print on both sides of the paper, you're gonna to need to click here and select two-sided, either long edge or short edge. Once you're done, there's the blueprint button. You just need to click it once, click OK, and wait. This is where the print will come out, so you can extend this tray. And here we go, we got our print results. Now let me show you how to scan and get the results on your phone. To scan, let's open the scanner lid, put your finger there and lift the cover. Take the document you wanna scan, could be a picture or a document with text. Put it facing down. 
with the top part okay this is the top part of my page you see on the left side then we need to bring this sheet of paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner of your scanner that is the top left one so bring them until both here are touching close the lid on the app itself you have the scan option right there so click on scan again you're gonna have different settings so you can click on change settings if you want to change them once you're ready to scan press the scan button and wait this is the scan result if you want to scan more pages load the next one and press scan but this printer has an automatic document feeder where you can scan multiple pages at the same time let me show you in just a few seconds for now i'll just show you how to save this so press exit you'll get the result here and from here you see on the lower left side you get a small icon a square with an arrow press on it and now it will ask you do you want to save it in jpeg or pdf let's say i want a pdf i'll click and now you'll be able to share it with your contacts also share it on social media or different apps that you have installed on your phone and finally if you go down you'll be able to click save to files which means that it will save on the memory of your iphone for future usage so you have all these options if you want to use the top document feeder let me show you i'll take this page let's say you have a document with multiple pages let's say 20 25 and you don't want to put them one by one over here align them open this top document feeder you see there's some plastic glides you can um, open up put your document with uh, whatever it is that you want to scan facing up with the top part of the page towards the left side glide it you're gonna hear a beep telling you it has recognized and now if i go in the scan app and i'm going to scan this document press scan you'll see the printer will take one by one each page you don't have to touch anything and it will scan them so you know if you have 20 pages you're gonna save a lot of time with this automatic document feeder instead of using a typical scanner okay here we go it has scanned and let's check on the phone itself i have page one out of two and i have pa page two out of two again you can have many of them and uh, yeah same thing click over here if you want to save it on your phone or share it so this is about it thanks for watching i hope this tutorial was helpful if so please leave a like subscribe check my amazon affiliate links if you want to get ink for this nice printer and i'll see you in the next video